Hey, what's up everybody? How was it going? Welcome back guys. My name is Oshi Kurosu. Let's get some more story mode done in Super Mario Maker 2. So as you guys see, we have the West Hall completed. We went a little backwards and did West Hall, then East Hall, and then Main Hall. So it's going to take a couple jobs uh, for this Main Hall to get finished up before we can do any more building on the, the second floor West Hall. So let's go, let's uh, kind of just dive into it. Let's just get some... Uh, Let's get some, let's get some jobs done. Bonsai Bill Ambush. Let's go. <laughs> I have an army of Bonsai Bills guarding this place. I'm hoping they'll surprise Mario by sneaking up behind him. Any of you chumps out there desperate enough to test it out before Mario shows up, get to the end and get paid. Father of name withheld. Okay, good luck out there, Big Red. Yo, Big Red's on the case. Let's go, everybody. As always, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm doing pretty good. This is my first gameplay of today. So let's uh, see how we do. We have no clear conditions today. We're just on a roll to to uh, to get get the W. So let's go. And we're, uh, of course, we're going to try and get as many coins as we possibly can while we're out and about. I really like this Bonsai Bill setup. Uh, it's a lot of fun to be, you know, just to just to jump and bounce around on them. Oh, I was hoping that there'd be a really cool item up there, like some coins or something, because it seemed like that was kind of the setup. Like if you if you were fortunate enough to make it there with the cat suit. Oh, but you know what we can do? Cat Mario can redirect the bullet bills just by whapping them with his with his cat paws. I wonder if we have a limited amount of time we can climb on this wall. I guess probably not. Okay, well that's fine. I'm really excited to get back into story mode and do some more story mode. Huh, how are we gonna do this? Meow, meow, meow. I wonder if we can actually get up there now. Or I wonder if we just ruined our chances to get up there. Ugh. Oh, there's nothing up. Okay, there's nothing up there. Like I said, we're looking for all the coins as well. Okay, so just a big open area underneath. Let's get our coins. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, well, <laughs> that was... Okay. We'll just do it again, that's all. We'll do it again and we'll do better this time. How's that? Oh no, I lost my cat suit. Are we going to be able to do this without the cat suit? It, I'm sure we are. It's just going to be more difficult. Okay, the twirl doesn't act the same way. Oop. Okay, one more thing I learned is that we can actually jump a little bit higher by holding up on the D-stick and pressing our spin jump button. I'm kind of nervous to ground pound the clouds, to be honest. Okay, we're making it further without the cat suit than we did with the cat suit, so that's uh I'm not sure how comforting that is, but let's go. Okay, we're doing well. We're sitting at like plus 74 coins as well as the the bounty for the level reward. Oh. I don't think we can get up that high. No, it's not gonna happen. I don't think we can make that jump. Oh, we might be able to make that jump. Let's just try it out one or two times. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Try one more time here. If at all possible, I guess I would like to like bounce. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh man, we don't have cat suit. That's all right. It's better than trying to risk our coins. We got three, we're gonna get 10, but wahoo, big red. Well, little red is on the case. <laughs> okay, let's go. So we made a couple hundred coins. The The East Hall is gonna be finished here pretty quick. Oh, right now it's gonna be finished. Okay, well that's our beautiful castle, you know. And I think the next time we do this, we'll build, we'll, <laughs> we'll build the central castle first. Oh, what's up, Squeak Squeak? Hey kid, looks like you've been hard at work. 
He looks kind of shady. I suppose it's time I get back to work myself. Adios. Okay. Now, viewers pointed out to me that uh, they were really impressed with the 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 attention to detail with uh, this this yellow toad always sleeping. I guess it's kind of canon throughout all the Mario series that feature the toads. That yellow toad is often sleeping in most of them, so that's pretty cool. We have a job we can do with the dog as well. Let's maybe do some 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 undo dog jobs. Bark. Okay, Swamp Escape by Shell. Three star difficulty. Arf, arf, I have a job for you. The nights have been so cold lately. Could you bring me something that will shelter me from the storm? I wonder what that is. What would we get him that shelters him from the storm? Interesting. Reach the goal while wearing a dry bone shell. Oh, okay, so we're gonna give him the dry bone shell. Uh-oh. Okay. Wow, that is a little scary. I thought it was going to push us in. It's a really cool aesthetic going on with this level design, though. All right. Hey. Okay, down. Down. Let's get the tenor. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay, we're good. Life is good. Let's go. Doom. What's up? Uh, are they are they red? Like are they red hot because they've been in the lava? Oh, it's not lava. It's poison. Are they colored because they were dipping in the poison? Man, this is a spooky little uh, section here. Ugh, we missed the coin, but that's okay. We got it. We didn't even miss it. Okay, what's going on? I'm curious because I know Mario can go invincible with this thing by pressing the D-pad down. However, um... No, 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 no! <laughs> we got greedy! We got greedy. Oh, we have to do this all over again. Oh, man. Okay, well, what do you do? Okay, well, while we're here, I just wanted to see. Okay, so you will die if you're invincible by the time the lava or the poison goes over top of you. Uh, that was just, that. Okay, thank you, Luigi. I'm not interested in your assistance. Yeah, I was. I mean, we have to experiment as we play the game. We have to learn things, right? Oh man, I'm kind of upset about. It. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in myself. That's okay, we'll do better this time. And you can also hold the down and, oh, I missed those two coins up there. I was busy looking at the tenor down there. So jumping in the, jumping doesn't uh, help you at all. Yeah, if you hold down and up, Mario just like spins the, he spins the shell in place. Like he's doing some cool dance moves. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, enough horsing around, you guys. Oh my gosh. That's so scary. Okay, let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, this music is definitely pretty creepy. Okay. We can't pass up a 30. We just can't, we can't pass it up. We gotta be better than that. Oh, the end of the stage is right here. No leftovers? All right, there we go. We get a, a star for five coins. We almost broke our hundred, but that's because we, we died a couple of times and lost our coins. We collected 97, baby. Ooh, another, oh, <laughs> that's so cool, man. I like how it actually like created another atmospheric product for us to admire. Uh, what's up, undo dog? He's got another job for us. Wow. <gasps> Four star difficulty, chain chomp, chiller. Plus we get a cool uh, shirt. 
reach the goal without landing after leaving the ground. Arf, arf, I have another job for you. The path I usually take for a daily walk is littered with chain jumps. You show with me it's possible to walk through here without jumping. Okay, this is our hardest course yet. Oh man, leave the goal without landing after, or reach the goal without landing after reaching the ground. Yeah, at least it's Super Mario World. Ugh. We're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna die a couple times here, I think. Unless we're like super chill with it. Oh, baby. Yay! A lot of yays for us. A lot of congratulations. Uh-oh. We have less time to work with this. I love all the yays, man. I feel like we're doing such a good job at it. Such a good job. Yay! All right, this part here is gonna be a little scary. Have to wait for him to go down. There we go. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna borrow this, thank you. Oh, you know what? I don't wanna borrow that anymore. <laughs> I, want, I want him to use it. Okay, let's hope he uses it. Okay, there we go. Now we'll borrow it. Okay, are you still going? Yeah. <gasps> hey, hey, we got it. We got smarter than the game. Or maybe that was intended, I don't know. I should've went for the one up. That was easier than the Dry Bones shell one. Boop. I'm gonna miss that sound effect. Oh, <laughs> he's just chilling out. Oh, I got a reset dress. That's gonna look great on me. It's gonna look fantastic. Okay. <laughs> one more level in the main hall is complete. We're 18% done. We're doing not bad, guys. Thanks for helping me out with those jobs. No problem. I got you. We got you, fam. Okay, Toad's got a couple jobs for us and Yellow Toad's still sleeping. All right. I'm assuming he's gonna have some jobs for us later. You want jobs? I got jobs. We have the Swinging Claws ropes course. Let's go. Yo, this ropes course I made is straight up sloppy. I'll pay anyone who can make it to the end. Once you get hooked by a swing claw, tilt left and right to swing and then press jump to go flying. All right. Yo, Big Red, back in action. We're not Big Red when we go Celebrity MC. Huh. Celebrity MC. I wonder. I wonder if that's like a Splatoon reference. Okay, whip you. I feel like because I've been playing the Super Expert, I feel like I kind of am getting used to the claw mechanics. How to like min-max and, and make like beautiful jumps and stuff on it. Ooh. Well, that's not gonna help. Oh man, I needed one of the Koopa shells. See if we can come back. No, it seems like not. Oh man, well that stinks. Whatever, we'll go back. I guess we're gonna miss out on it because of star power. Star power seemed like a good idea at the time. And then it really wasn't, was it? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Whee! Okay, well that's okay. We can we can jump backwards and get it. Yeah, there we go. Huh? Huh? Whee! Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I can never like get the one up in Bros. Three Worlds. I never know what it is. Okay, is our main hall complete now? I think it is. Dun, 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 dun. Main hall is complete. Let's go. Main all the first floor stuff is done, though. This castle is already looking a hundred times better than the original one. So that's great, knowing that we're out here doing it. 
Okay, Taskmaster. Or Chief, what can we do here? <laughs> whoever whoever built this deserves some praise. Oh, we don't have any money though. Oh, we can't work on the second floor east or west. Okay, well we just gotta get more coins, that's all. I gotta keep coming back and checking on those guys. You want more jobs? I got jobs. See, some of them are like gonna pay some pretty good, but I wanna do all the jobs. I kind of just want to like, you know, I kind of want to do all the jobs. Maybe not in order per se. Celebrity DJ, celebrity MC and celebrity DJ. Oh, I didn't read the job description on this one. These shoe goobas are too much, but the kicks they're rocking are, are useful because they let you walk over spike traps. The shoes are probably don't smell great, but you can always press R to get them off. If you find a big shoe, you can slam down by tilting the down stick in the air. And we're actually at my favorite new theme, which is the ice theme. And I'm mostly just hyped for the ice theme because I love the, uh... We just found a hidden one up, man. I really like the ice theme because I love the music that's in it. Yo, so many booty Goombas. Goombas and booties. Yo, get wrecked, nerd. Let's go up. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we can make them one-ups and everything now. I don't think the one-ups really count for much, but... And then the game is also telling us if we want, we can do the we can do the ground stomp here with the big boots. And the clouds will kind of take out a lot of... Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man. We have a flying boot over there. Oh, dude, can we go back and get that boot? No, of course not. And of course, I, I'm pretty sure, maybe I can reset this. Hold on. If we go all the way back to the, oh, what is this? Oh, I can't ground stomp in this one. If I go out through the pipe here, we should be able to reset the enemies. Because like that enemy's reset. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. We'll just have to be more careful instead of just like rushing around. Ooh, I almost got taken out by rushing around. Okay, we're not even interested in those boots. We're interested in that boot right there. Now the difference is because the green, the green booties, the little sock boots, won't break through the bricks. But the other ones will. The 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 high heel boots will stomp right through. All the bricks. It looks like I guess we're making a trade again. Let's get our coins. Yo, 70 coins. Let's go. Okay, we can go up. Hey. No, of course we can't. Yeah, it's got to be the big one to do the, the stomp. Oh, I'm surprised that there was no item in there. And not only can you walk on top of the items, like the spices of that, but you can actually walk into them and still be safe. Oh my gosh, we're gonna maybe get the one up this time. Boop. 10 more coins for a total of 92 that run. Plus the 100 for the reward, we're looking at still like three more levels to go before we can afford the main hall. Main hall is expensive. All right, well, that's good. Still no better percent done. Is the percentage only on the castle and not anything to do with the jobs? The key master. Hey, so I made a ghost house. I'll pay anyone who can make it to the end. Here's a little hint. You'll need four keys. More if you want to get the true ending, wink. Yo, true ending shout out. Okay, so we need four or more keys. Agent two, I love all the Splatoon two references. I guess it's just Splatoon references. Okay, mushroom, let's go. And there's nothing in here. We have to go through the pipe. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's... That one, that is flip locks over there, so I feel like the P-switch 
But okay, this is gonna be spring. Okay, what's on conveyors? Bow, 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 bow. Oh, well, munchers for sure. Munchers for sure we can use the powers. Okay, let's go over this side. Got it! Meow. Okay, so we got one key for sure. Now, let's see what's going on in this twisty room. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this thing. Oh, we're gonna have to put a piece switch or a pow there for it to bridge the gap. Okay, good puzzle solving. Um, helps our flex our brain muscles a little bit here. Uh, let's go and, and grab a piece, or let's go and grab, yeah, let's grab a piece switch, whatever, who cares? It doesn't really matter. He'll walk over probably anything. We drop it in the hole, just like that, baby. Uh oh, there we go. Okay, so we're two out of six done on this side, or two out of three on this side. Let's see what the note blocks require. Probably another spring. I could try and use a spring jump. But I'm not so good with that mechanic yet. They've changed a lot of this game and how it works for doing uh, for doing the Kaiser mechanics. So I guess we'll just uh, go and bring another spring in with us. And we can't bring that spring because that spring will be... It'll respawn once we go in, but if we bring it in, it won't respawn. Okay, we're just going to wait for it to get... There we go, get the necessary heights. I wonder if we can use springs on any... I, I wonder if it's like... Well, you probably can't use anything in any of the pipes. But some of them are flexible. Let's see what's going through treadmills. Or tracks, or whatever we're going to call them. Ugh. Yeah, see, this one here didn't require anything at all. Piece which would have been helpful, but not really. Because if you didn't realize... The piece switch will actually stop the treadmills in place for the duration of the piece switch timer. Okay, what's in this room here? We technically have enough to clear the whole course, but I kind of want the true ending. Oh, found it! Hey! I thought maybe we would have to do something. See, that could have been anything too. You could have used the piece switch for that as well. Okay, what's in flip blocks? I mean, okay, let's get the P-Switch. It's, I, we could do it without any, we could do it with anything really, but the P-Switch is just going to make it more easy, you know? Okay, what do we got here? Because one of those blocks holds the key. Or two of the blocks hold the key. Get as many coins as we possibly can. Shucks. Okay, well, we've gotten all the keys. We got a we got a family of six keys following us. Let's go. Let's pop the P switch and we'll bring a pow just because. Who knows? We probably don't need it, but we'll do it anyways. Ta -da 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 -da. Okay, we got one key, <clears throat> two keys, three. Oh my gosh. Okay. I feel like even the Mario Maker creators could have done better with this level by just doing four red coins, you know, instead of like, I don't know, four red coins and an extra key or something, but there's gotta be a better way to do this than zoning through. Wait, where's the other key? Did we not get all six plus seventh? Okay. Where's my other key? What? Am I missing something? Oh, we gotta go back through all these doors again. Great. Great. Where's that other key? Is it up in that pipe there, maybe? 
Uh oh, we broke him. Might be up in that pipe. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Oh, we can go in the mushroom pipe. Oh, okay. So another thing, if you didn't know, you can actually activate um, machines to do that by throwing objects into them. And it can be literally any object. It could be a coin that's falling. It could be an enemy, a Koopa, a Galoomba. It could be a POW, a P-Switch, a spring. Uh, it could be a power-up, like a mushroom. And, it, and it'll activate those clown cars and they'll, or they'll come after you. <clears throat> All right, yay! <laughs> I wonder how many people made that same mistake. I didn't even count the keys. I just wasn't paying attention. All of this for like 20 coins or something. Well, how many? We have 34 coins. Let's see. Plus 10 because of the goal post. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, we were 34 plus we had like, we're almost, almost 60 coins, I guess. That's all right. Plus, we'll get the, the one up here. And we'll break a hundred coins, baby. One hundred three coins. Still not enough to start the main hall, though. I think after one more level, we should definitely have enough. Okay, talk, talk to this guy. You want got jobs? He's got jobs with seesaw catapults. Okay. I set some seesaws up to help get rid of all the baddies around here. Just jump and tilt down to a ground pound onto a seesaw and send them the other end flying. Phys ed teacher? Who's the phys ed teacher? Who could be phys ed teacher? <clears throat> all right, let's go. Seesaw catapults. Go so right now, we need to not ground pound that one. I really love all the music that this game has brought forward. Uh oh. I seen a really inventive level the other day that used um, thwomps. And the thwomps were set. The thwomps were part of the. the the reaction and uh, what the thwomps did was when they hit the thing they they kind of like ground pounded the enemies and there was chain chomps on the other end and it sent them like flying up into the air it was wild it was absolutely incredible it was really cool okay let's go down yeah see and then there was an other enemy on the other side and he caused them to like launch him <clears throat> okay let's try this out can we go in this pipe? Sorry, I have to clear my throat. One second. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do is we're going to bop this guy down here and then launch him up. Yeah, let's go. We got 10 coins for that. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, checkpoint is awesome. Man, I feel a little trolled by the other, other checkpoints. The first in the last game we played. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Baby, come back. Well, sorry, right. we can still get it, but. Okay, so now it's gonna ask me to do the catapulting. And this is what the thwomps were doing in the last level. They were just like launching the enemies. However, I think catap I think thwomps have a, I think thwomps are better at that than we are. Oh no. But it was worth though. It was 100% worth. Okay, nice little easy down for us. 
and then we'll just kind of make our run jump. Hit the flagpole, 93 coins. Let's go. Okay, so by my mathing, that should give us enough to start construction on the main hall. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Check out the castle. Main hall, second floor. You're sure about this, right? I sure am. Okay, let's get building. Oh, we're broke again. Barely any money for food now. Construction has started. Let's get some more of those jobs done. Yeah. Doggo's still no jobs for us. Oh, there's a little blue plant down here. Apparently I'm... Oh, what is this? What is this? I haven't even been to this side of the map. Okay. Interesting. Okay, he's got six new jobs for us, and this guy is still sleeping away, and this guy's still chilling. All right, let's do a let's do a couple more jobs. Um, that's one hot car swing claw swing. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go tunnel to the dark side of the moon for 150 bucks. I think I tunneled all the way to the other side of the moon because everything is upside down there. It's pretty neat, but kind of disorienting. If you want to slide down a slope, you gotta tilt up with your left stick. Oh man. Oh man, my first story mode upside down level. Tunnel to the dark side of the moon. Okay, I don't know what to do with this, so we're gonna keep this. I missed it, man. How am I even supposed to get down there? You can't even like hit that bottom thing. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go. Is it only purely aesthetic? Is that why that coin is there? Okay. Also love the, oh no. Okay, well, we can't go that way, so. He is coming back to life. Now, I know Merrymaker 1, I, I know you're going to hear me probably mention this a little bit, but um, in Merrymaker 1, you could put enemies down and you could use. You could put enemies down. So we can't go that way, it'll destroy us. I'm so sad that there's coins this level that I feel like we can't get. Um, sorry, in Maker 1, you could, like, a shelled enemy who is, like, coming out of his shell, you could just, like, you could just bop him. And, uh, you could drop him like this, and he would have no problems. He would... Yeah, see, like, he comes back to life now. We have no reset timer on him. We get two more coins, whatever. Okay, which way are we supposed to go now? Oh no, we have to go down to the pipe. Okay, well, I gladly took the damage boost. I gladly took the damage so we could make another 10 coins. Oh man, this is so hard on us. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm getting a head cold, guys. I feel like I'm getting a head cold. Dun 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 Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, get it before it runs out. You can you only get like so much time to bop those. Oh man, this is gonna mess me up. Well, I thought it was disorienting before. I mean, as players, we've been told the bottom of the screen is dangerous. We've always been told that. Now, now we're kind of being told another thing. Oops. To press down to go up in the door. Oop. Yeah, don't fall off the edge there. Okay, let's go. 
up the pipe. We're sitting at 97 coins, not too shabby, you know, it's not bad. How far can we go over? Oh, we could do, we could have done the whole thing over here. That door's not going to kill us though, is it? Okay, 98. 99. We can actually get that 32 if we bring the... We bring this dude over. We'll bring him. We'll go a little bit fast. Didn't work. Okay, what's in the door? I can't remember. Oh, just the end. Oh, we got the one up! I actually got it! Hot dog, let's go. All right, 109 coins. What does it cost to build the other walls? Probably like four or 500 each. Actually, if I was guessing, probably gonna cost like 600 each. Let's see. 21%. Check out the castle. Uh, we have to wait for the main hall to be finished. Oh, okay. Okay. You want jobs? Let's go. Dry bones, shell boating. I'm thinking of changing the look of my room, something like this. Visitors have to get over the lava by floating in a... Wow, okay, pretty hardcore, eh? That is pretty hardcore, celebrity MC. I'm thinking of changing my bedroom style so that people have to jump over lava to get in. I feel like you probably won't have many visitors. That's maybe just me, but... <laughs> I was about to say, hopefully there's something in here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was close. That was too close. Now, one thing is that it really slows you down when you're in the lava. Like, when you're running, you get run speed for sure, but when you're in the lava, you get not run speed. You get lava floating speed, and that's it. That's all you get. Ah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme the coins, baby! I need the coins! I wonder if the... I wonder if the shell will just float in lava by itself. It does float in lava, so... My next question is I'm wondering if you can... Uh oh my next question is, I wonder if you can jump into a shell that's in the lava. Like, can you set it off to go in the lava? And then, like, here's, here's the setup, okay? You throw a shell, you throw a dry bone shell into the lava. You throw it far away. And then, as, it's, as you're, like, running to get some extra distance, you jump out of, over top of the lava. And then, okay, there's probably no benefit to taking out Bowser. And we only have five coins in this one for the axe. Probably because you always get five coins. You probably never get like 10 coins for the axe. Maybe? I don't know. All right, that puts us a little dent in our castle here. A little dent in our pocketbook. And this way, once the main hall is finished, we should probably be able to afford at least one of the sides. We want jobs twisting through the desert sands. Yo, Big Red's got this. Key he he, I cast a twister spell in the desert. A certain page. If you press B as you enter the twister, you'll be thrown skyward. Those who master the tempest will reap great rewards. Have fun. All right. He didn't call us Big Red that time. Did we lose our nickname? Toad, did we do something to lose our nickname? Oh, I will reap great rewards, like three coins. Fair enough. It's a cool way to set those up, though. It's kind of sad that we don't get a bonus for collecting one-ups. Like, what happens if you run out of all your lives? 
I feel like nothing's gonna happen if you run out of your lives. You just probably lose checkpoint or something, right? Just get the coin! The coin is more important. Let's bring this and see if we can go down the green pipe. We can. Nice little hidden area there. Oh gosh. But say, come on, man, don't do this. Okay, we've got two more coins. Let's go. Okay, down and up. Hey, we're kind of getting the hang of this. Yeah, we should get like 10 coins for a one-up. So I feel like the one-ups are kind of not going to be super worth it. Okay, we'll just try to run through. Oh, didn't work. Dun, 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 dun. Let me just try and like charge through, man. Ugh. Oh, that was a bad spot, though. Okay, what if we try and charge through while it's running at us? How? I don't see how else we're going to do this. Okay. Very particular setup here. Money! Yo, 100 plus coins already. Okay, whatever. We're good. Yeah, let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh, we stopped Mario. The pal stopped him. He'll never get back to the castle now. 135 bonus coins. Let's go. Pretty good. So anybody who's playing this game, I would love to hear your thoughts on it so far. Are you really enjoying it? Are you really like... I'm so hyped for this game, and I'm, I'm actually really happy for the story mode. I've heard a couple other people who are like, ah, the story mode seems kind of slow, and I like slow. I like nice and chill. Here's the challenge, trying to get through the whole level without jumping off the ground and landing. Any takers? Anyone? There's a prize for anyone who succeeds. Here's a hint. Use wine to dash. Heh, heh, heh. The Game Master. Oh, we got our nickname back. We're good. Who's the Game Master? Hmm. Reach the goal without landing after leaving the ground. These are like some of the hardest ones to do. Okay, we got this. Just chill out to this section. Nice. I think this door is going to take us back to that donut. Heck yeah. Alright, we got this. A couple fire bars. What's to be scared of, guys? Oh, I'm really tempted to jump on the pipe. Oh, I actually seen this setup before. It's a really cool setup. Look how cool that is. Okay, how are we going to do this part? Okay, it's a Monty Mole. He's going to take us up. Yo, thank you, Monty. Appreciate that, bro. And of course, this guy's going to drop us up, and we'll have to... See, the tricky thing is you can't actually walk off those things while they're falling, because if even if you walk off them, and I know it's kind of silly, but anyways. But if you walk off of them while they're falling... Uh... Did it all for the one-up. Come on, the one-up. Come on. All right, up. There we go, Mario. You're doing it. You're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go. We're not getting very many extra coins, though. Hmm. Oh, we can actually do this. Hold on. This is the way to do it. So you light the bomb up. Oh, it didn't work. The boo came down too low. Maybe we can reset it and try again. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Well, we're going to lose half of these anyways, so. Ah, oh, no. oh, didn't even think about that, man. 
the game didn't want us to to reset it. All right, well, <laughs> no, no, what is going on? Hey, big bro. Hey, you know what, Luigi? Just back up, all right, bro. I don't need your help, okay? I got this. We don't need Luigi's help. It's the last person on the planet whose help I need. Like, literally the last. But we know the course from now, so like... Oh, no. I just beat the game to it. I'm, I'm getting impatient now. This is... I wanted to, like, see the end of the castle built by the time we finish up this episode, but I feel like I'm getting too impatient for it. All right, let's go again. One more time. We're gonna celebrate. Celebrate and dance so free. One more time. Okay, what happened up here? Oh, I tried to beat the fire bars. Cause I thought I was like, oh, I can probably beat the fire bars if we just one cycle through. Which means like, if when, when you one cycle something, it means to like, go without stopping non-stop. But anyways, that was not the situation. That is a really cool setup right there. I really enjoy how that works. Wee! Thank you. I probably could have one cycled up there. Like that would be the idea, is the one cycle is that we didn't have to wait there because it's the second cycle. Oh, can't run off of those. Okay, we're almost back to where we were. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Wasn't very long. Right, patience is key here. We gotta wait for this here. We'll get our one-up reward. I'm having a hard, difficult time with my D-pad here. Okay, we're gonna try this setup here again. Yeah, so that's gonna be the ticket though. Because when he explodes, he causes them to fall. Okay, Thwomp is gonna light that up for us. Eesh. Oh no. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Same kind of setup here with the boo. That's such a cool setup though. Like the level is really cool for like showing you the cool setups that you can do in this game. So that's pretty cool. That's gotta be something else. Bum, 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 bum. And we can jump one time. We just have to make sure we don't hit the ground after. All right, 104 points. This is pretty good, not too bad. Pretty good, not too bad. No, we died like seven times through the level, so that was frustrating, but we did it. We did the thing. We're good. Got another 300 coins in the bank. How's that castle looking now? Dun, da, 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 da. Now, hopefully it's only 600 per wing. <laughs> I hope it's only 600 per wing. <laughs> it's probably not going to be that cheap. Well, there's actually toads up there who have jobs for us. Main hall, second floor done. This dies is almost too perfect. Unless she just keeps patting herself on the back. Looks like there isn't any work. What do you mean there's no work orders? Looks like the entire crew is slacking off. Yeah, what the heck? Well, this guy here is 100% slacking off. But why is... Okay, I guess we're going to go up. Okay, that's so cool. We can go up the castle. Uh, Mario, I need your help. Uh, gotta go. See ya. Aww. <laughs> I've got bad news. The chief took my cloud because she said she needed it for something or other. I don't want the chief to hear this, so let me just whisper it in your ear. And the clouds. I told the taskmaster about this job. Oh, we just want to tell the chief. Mario, we need some blocks to get the East Hall from here, but... Mario, can you keep a secret? Yeah. 
Thanks, and good luck. Little Toad Laws. Okay, so we have a couple of jobs to do up here as well. Okay, what do you got to say? Okay, okay. What's up? It'll be bad if Chief over here, so... Heavy Stone Heave Ho. I've already got the tasks. Okay, so we have some jobs to do when we get back. 26% done, not too shabby. How's, how's Doggo doing over here? Doggo's just chilling, Bark Bark's just chilling. This is still unbreakable. This little nub is still on the ground. All right, well, I guess nothing's changed outside the world here, so that's cool. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're gonna call it there. That was a pretty good episode. We made a lot of progress today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, I want to give a special thank you to everybody who took the time to watch today's episode. You guys are incredible. A special thank you to everybody whose name is in the backsplash of this video. You guys' contributions are huge. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked today's video, leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the section below. What do you think about this game so far? If you guys are new to the channel, I encourage you guys to subscribe, hit the bell notifications, stay in touch your uploads on the channel. And of course, if you guys didn't know, I also live stream on twitch.tv slash Oshikurosu five nights a week, Sunday through Thursday, and I would love to see you guys hang. That's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a really great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!